Our next extract is Lumber Room by H. H. Munro. Let's have a look at the descriptive part of the summary. It is a story of an intelligent child who puts a frog in a bread milk breakfast. It is not clear why did he do that. Maybe it was out of fun for him at the first sight. But later he refused to eat bread milk because of the frog. Adults who are portrayed as wiser and older flat out denied that there is any frog in breakfast. And they refused to even check for it. Later, Nicholas tried to describe the color and shape of the frog. But it was thought as wild imagination of a child. It leaves the impression of an adult on Nicholas' mind that adult, despite of being wiser and older, can be completely wrong about something at times. Act of not eating breakfast and behaving badly at dine, her trinical aunt, who is portrayed as a dumb with strict lady who is in charge of the children, her idea of punishing was to send other children on an expedition while the child in disgrace should stay back at home. Sometimes she would tell children about a wonderful circus in a neighbor town, but her inability to describe what was wonderful in that circus escapes her mind. That day she was eager to send all the children to a beach except Nicholas and she looked over a skinned knee of her daughter and very uncomfortable shoes of her son. In afternoon, she set to guard the beautiful garden, which could have been a comp compensation for beach expedition. But Nicholas cleverly made her think that he is trying to get into the garden. So his aunt's all concentration is on the doors, while Nicholas would sneak in the house, enter the lumber room. There were many beautiful things in that room, a picture book, a tapestry, a tea set, some fancy candles, and other things. Aunt didn't want they to be spoiled through use, so she condemned them to dust and damp.